emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. Good mental health enables us to cope with challenges of life and maintain relationships and contribute to society. So here we have a tree of mental disorders. There are many mental disorders that a lot of people are not aware of, such as bipolar, sleep disorders, schizophrenia, ADHD, anxiety disorders, borderline personality disorder, and depression. Only to mention a few. My name is Natasha Chung, and I'm going to talk about the factors that contribute to mental health. Not to mention all but a few, such as genetics, brain chemistry, environmental factors, history of trauma, and certain medical conditions. My name is Doris Katazi, and I'm talking about different ways to help mental health. The first one is seeking professional help, such as a counselor, therapist, or a psychologist. Connect with others, build strong relationships with family and friends, and taking breaks and prioritizing risks. Talk about staying active as a way to help mental health conditions. Regular physical activity improves our mental health. Secondly, I'm going to talk about eating a healthy diet. Eating food that consists of all seven groups can improve our mental health. And I'm going to talk about getting enough rest. Getting enough rest helps us have less mental fatigue. And then I'm going to talk about learning to say, to say no and, stay, and set healthy boundaries to manage stress as a last point. And, and I'm going to discuss on how, how we can spread mental health awareness. And I'm going to start on the national level where we're going to uh, like impose policy development and education and awareness. And then we're going to talk about the integration with the health care. Then on the school level, integration with the syllabus means that uh, we're supposed to introduce mental health as, as a subject in school like these other important subjects. And then for the, for the second one, teacher training, we're supposed to enforce policy that are going to train teachers in order to know how to handle children with mental disabilities. School clubs or student clubs. Uh, this is like a safe place for other people to express how they feel when, when they need help or, or how you can help them. And mental health education just to educate other people about mental health in general. Then on the home level, we're going to reduce the stigma, encourage self-care, and open conversation, talking about how we can. My name is Nanjeki Kavita. The Green Ribbon represents mental health. That raises awareness about mental health to help us support and understand the acceptance of mental health. Mental health awareness week starts from the 30th of May and ends on the 19th of May. The 1st of May to the 31st of May is the, is the Mental Health Awareness Month. The 10th of October is World Mental Health. My name is Yun from the Palata. Our main aim, main area of focus is to establish a community free from stigma stigmatization and where people where people are allowed to grow where people so, where people are freely allowed to grow and learn the effects of mental health illnesses are so visible in society especially among children this is why we have children abusing substances or engaging themselves in sexual activities which leaves them vulnerable to diseases such as HIV and AIDS. And for us to put a stop to this, we, we are appealing to the government to make mental health a subject in schools so that people will have a proper foundation and proper foundation where people can learn about mental health and know how to help.